What's up, people? It's Twisted Vitale. My voice is a little raspy because I'm sick. But other than that, I'm going to be showing a video of what I use to edit and do my screen recording. Just in case any of you wanted tips on what to start out with. This is the way I started out with. Because there's certain ways that I tried and my computer wouldn't agree with it. Just the software would mess up and the way it was all programmed, it wouldn't screen record certain things and my microphone wouldn't work, even though it says it's connected. So I found programs that should be compatible with every single PC. And some of these have been recommended already, but I'm gonna make a video on what I use just so I could show you guys an example of what you could use to start out with. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the screen recorder on and I will show you from there. All right, so this is what I'm using to screen record with. It is ice cream screen recorder. And yeah, sorry about this. I, I, I'm waiting for my microphone stand. It, it's been two days. I ordered it like two days ago and I paid one day shipping and it's still not here. So yeah, I'm still stuck with all this. Anyway, let me bend this just a little. Okay, so I'm using ice cream screen recorder. And to find it, we are going to go and you're going to go into the search bar on Google, type in, come on, don't do this to me. You're going to type in ice cream screen recorder and it's going to be this one. You click it, and it's going to bring you to this. See, it's ran by ice cream apps and it shows you information about it it's a free download you can upgrade to pro if you want but this is basically it all right so let's get into the specs of this now obviously when it's free it has its pros and cons the pro is that it's free now the downfall to getting this is the fact that obviously you can't see the full resolution of my computer screen if you notice you can't see like the volume button at the time half of my window is already cut off so you can only see down to like right here it makes it out of this you can only see up to like right here keep in mind this was recorded before this I just realized it was full screen the entire time but I will explain to you that there are situations where you don't have full screen so it's new to me as much as it's new to scene I have to adjust it to where it fits only for what it records. I don't know if it's because I my, my computer screen is not at full resolution, but it is on, you know, when I plug it into the TV and all that. But like I said, I don't know. I haven't seen anybody use this before, this ice cream screen recorder. I haven't seen anybody, and when they do, it, it works fine for them. So I'm, I'm not sure if it's just me. But yeah, uh, in case you have the same issue as me, I'm going to go ahead and forewarn you right now. Um, so, as I was saying, the downside is you can't get the full resolution of your computer screen on here. <coughs> Excuse me. You can't get the full resolution because it just doesn't work that way. So notice how you guys see just this kind of resolution, just this kind of display. I get full 1080p resolution on my monitor, obviously, on my, on my screen. I should say monitor, on my screen, on my screen. Another downfall is the format the video comes in and the time that you have to record because you only have five minutes. It used to be 10 minutes for the trial version, but the free version, I'm sorry, free version it used to be 10 minutes for the free version, but the update came out and it's only five. So that's a downfall. Another downfall is the format. It originally uh, puts your videos in when you record. I'm going to switch to my external camera and I'll show you exactly what it is that isn't the best benefits for using this but other than that this is what it looks like when you record and like I said you only get five minutes with the free version I bought the full version and I get as much as time as I want I can also convert my files if I choose to but 
I'm going to talk more on that because I just discovered something while doing these videos so I can help you avoid the troubles and literally troubles of not having to worry about recording everything again because this will save you big time. All right, so I just switched to my external camera on a phone that I'm not using, just only recording, but anyway. We're gonna go to, this is what, this is what the icon looks like. The icon looks like that. I know you can't see it too well, but you click on it and this is what pops up. It doesn't take much to load. So you can't see any of this. You can't access the menu while you're recording. That sucks. So I have to show you this way just so I can point out the specs of this app. So these are all the videos that I have. It tells you memory, it tells you the name, the duration, the resolution. You can edit things. You could switch the format if you want, but you can basically, if you want, you can edit. I don't recommend using that. But you can go to capture video and there's different ways you can capture it. You can go to custom area where you can set up your own window around the screen. I usually hit full screen. There is last area, which means it, I think it captures the previous uh, form of how you recorded. Auto area detection, I think it just detects, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try something else with that. But I think it detects what you can record with. So I'm gonna try that. And then area around mouse, it just shows the resolution. You can record screenshots, custom area, full screen, last area, auto detection. I'm not sure what tasks are, but let's move on. Now this is where things get a little crazy. So your screenshot format is PNG or JPEG. I just stick with PNG because it's default and it, it seems like it works. I haven't used screen, I haven't screenshot on this, but anyway, I have my webcam set to my default. You can set it to USB. I don't have that, that's my microphone, but it allows you to connect a different camera. It allows you to connect to an external camera if you have one, which I will eventually get. But right now I'm just using my basic Toshiba uh, laptop and this app is just universal for basic laptops or PCs. It allows your computer to be compatible with what it has as defaults because there are other screen recording programs out there and they didn't work for my they didn't work for my laptop. And I have a basic Toshiba, one ter one terabyte. It's a satellite and it has uh, four gigs of RAM. It's just basic. It's a really basic laptop that I just started out with and many screen recording apps that others recommended to me didn't work because it wouldn't record right or it wouldn't pick up on the microphone so this is what I use because it allows me to pick up on the microphone even though it's crap resolution and it allows me to also record better and conveniently also the downfall about this app too about ice cream screen recorder is it's another downfall it's a uh, you cannot really uh, play simulators while recording with this. It sucks. I tried Trucker Simulator, Goat Simulator, Farming Simulator, Tractor Simulator. And what happens is, is it records my game, my screen. It shows me, but it doesn't show the gameplay. But I see the gameplay, it just doesn't show me. So it's vice versa on each side. I would not recommend using Ice Cream Screen Recorder if you're going to record simulators. You'll have to work something out differently with those because it just doesn't work that way. But anyway. That's the uh, features for the system. You can choose different file locations to save and you can choose the maximum size this can store videos. I just hit seven gigs. Now this is the tricky part. Notice how you can change the formats. Yeah, that's cool. That's great. That's what we need because WebM is the worst of the worst kind of formats. Nothing out there accepts WebM. You have to file, you have to convert it. And what I use to convert these files, what I used to use before I bought the, the full version, was Prism File Converter. That was something I used because it recorded like you can like take twelve, you can take twelve files, you can take twelve files. I'm gonna mess it up. You can take twelve files and convert them. It takes like twelve minutes, ten minutes. I don't know, but it's really fast. And that also had a trial version, so you have to buy the full version if you want to keep this as a free version but 
there is a free online version of uh, converting files online, but it sucks. It takes like an hour and a half just to convert eight minutes worth of worth of uh, convert of a uh, video gameplay. And I'm just slipping. This is exactly why I do not repeat these videos more than twice. It's this the previous one was working great, but nope, I went ahead and jacked up. But anyway. WebM is a trash format. I would recommend not using it, but keep it on this when you record it. And I'll tell you why. Keep it on WebM because I just realized when I switched to MP4 and I was recording, it was lagging the hell out of my screen. I'll give an example. This is MP4 format. This is when I was recording. And I had no clue. I had absolutely no idea that it was doing this the whole time. And that's if you change the format before you screen record. Now, if you keep it on WebM, it'll record smoothly. And so how do you convert it to MP4 without messing it up? You just go to here after the fact of recording and then you convert it to MP4. All right. So that's a way to avoid it. I just realized that. I just realized a way to do that because I noticed as I was recording my first time that it wouldn't allow me to uh, get full smooth screenplay. I'm just messing up my sentences. All right, let's go back to settings, but that's a way you can do it. So keep it on WebM until you're done recording, then convert it. It'll avoid you having to get Prism, and it's more convenient that way. Now, audio. This is the default settings I had. I just had it. There. Record audio is 100%, microphones at 60%, and that's just what I, that's what I left it at. And I never messed with that, and it works fine. Now you can change your microphone device if you have a different mic. I would recommend just buying a microphone. This is a CAD U37, I think it's like 40 bucks. I bought it from somebody for 20, but it's pretty basic. It records fine. You'll just have to switch your uh, default audio settings, and I'll show you how to do that later on in another video, and it works. Now you can also change your speakers. I would recommend just keeping the PC speakers because when you plug them into the when you plug your earphones into the audio jack of your PC, you can hear it. If you switch it, you might not be able to hear it, depending on whether your mic you have has an audio jack or not. If it has an audio jack, if your microphone has one, then feel free to switch it. But I would not recommend switching it if you don't, because you won't hear it yourself. But other than that, those are the specs of it. Those are the specs of using Ice Cream Screen Recording Pro. I bought the full version, like I said. It's $19.99 and it's pretty convenient. And I just realized that my mic for some reason wasn't working. That's why I sounded distorted and you can hear certain things. Um, one thing I noticed is if you're gonna plug in your microphone USB, pick one port. Pick one port because I just plugged it into the other one. I didn't realize that it didn't even work and it messed with my audio. So put one port, and it's with any mic. I would just recommend using that same port. You can mess with the other ones. I haven't done that yet. I might just to make it more convenient for me, but I would just pick one port because it didn't recognize this as uh, my input device to speak. My external microphone on my laptop is picking up my voice. So that's why it sounded different. So I would just keep one port anyway. There's uh, skits that I'm making, so check those out. Uh, I'm uploading more, and check out my Clash Royale gameplays because I'm going to be doing gameplays on those because I'm a huge Clash, Clash Royale person. I used to like Clash Clans, but once Clash Royale, once Clash Royale kicked off, I registered the first day, and ever since I I liked it, I enjoyed it. But the first recordings are a little rough. Eventually, I worked out my screen recording program for that, which I'll show later on in another video. But I would recommend just watching gameplays like that. I just show tips on what to use for certain decks, what I use for certain decks. But 
mainly I just play the games and let you all enjoy them. I'm not one to keep talking and keep talking during them. I just show gameplay. But other than that, I hope this video helped on what to use exactly for things that can benefit you to start out with, with YouTube. Like I said, buy Ice Cream Screen Recorder, the full version. It's much more convenient. If not, I just showed you uh, ways to compensate with that. So other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Just subscribe for more. I'll be putting up more videos on things to help people with in case you want to start out with um, YouTube and stuff. But other than that, have a good day and night. Until next time.